Hi, my name is Nick Corelli, and today we're gonna go fishing for some catfish. Before we even get started though, I forgot the bait, so I gotta try to net some up real quick to hopefully get this day started. So hopefully there's some fish sleeping up by this pier and I can get it done. Man, we're four casts deep and still haven't caught nothing yet in this big old net. These fish are scheming, man. Right, on the fifth cast, we managed to catch one right here, this little bait fish. Fortunately, this is enough to work with. Catfish will eat just about anything, so we're gonna chunk them out. We're gonna chunk them up and then put them out on the line and see what we can get. Just had my first bite, so I at least know there's fish out here. Took my bait. This is my last chunk, so hopefully I get them this time. Dude just took my second piece of bait, so now I gotta try to net some more. Wish me luck. I managed to snag a couple this time. Let's try again. Ooh, got a fish on. Got a fish on. Catfish number one in the box, boy. Pretty decent size one. Can't really tell on the video, but he's probably about, um, I don't know, 14 inches, 15 inches, a little bit over a foot. Pretty chunky guy. Get some nice pieces of meat off this boy. Just caught me another one. This is the third one on the day. I caught a second one off camera and he's in the bucket now, but I'm thinking I'm gonna let this one go. He's just a little guy. It's only about 10 inches maybe and super skinny. Not gonna be able to get much meat off of him. Well, actually I take it back. I'm gonna have to keep this guy. He swallowed the hook, so even if I cut it, he's just gonna die anyway. So might as well harvest him and not let him go to waste. Look at all them fish feeding right now. Those are all little tiny bait fish and those are gonna bring in the bigger fish. This is why you gotta come out here early in the morning. They look like little raindrops, but that's all little bait fish. It's about seven o'clock right now. I've been out here since about 5.45. Got three fish in the bucket and looking like there's gonna be more to come. A lot of people, a lot of people say they don't like eating catfish or saltwater catfish at least. I guess freshwater the more popular ones. But a lot of people say they don't like eating saltwater catfish because they say they're a trash fish and all. But I dis I disagree. I disagree. They got a big old bloodline. So that's why when I when I catch them, I cut the tail and I bleed them. And it bleeds it out, it gets a lot of the bloodline out when you're cleaning them. It significantly decreases it. And then also, I mean, God put a variety of all types of animals in the world for us to eat. It's in the ocean, it's a fish, it's not a poisonous fish to eat, you can eat it. You just gotta cook it right, you gotta clean it right, you gotta harvest it right. And that's what I'm doing today. And also, you gotta do what you gotta do. Man, you can't be eating gourmet out here when you're poor. If you're poor like me and you don't wanna spend $14.99 on a pound of salmon at the store, you gotta come out here, fish for free, catch a little bit of a lower grade meat fish, and eat a good dinner. You can see all the bait a little better now. You see all those reflections in the water? That's all little bait fish, little glass minnows it looks like. But a heavily populated bait area like this is, is really good to be fishing at because then you got all these um, predator fish or bigger fish that are gonna come in through that canal up there and lurk up over here to try to eat some of these bait fish and hopefully we'll get your pole or get your bait while they're at it and I just took a big hit. Let's see if we can get anything. Fish on! This one feels bigger. Oh boy. Got me another kitty cat. Oh! No, 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 no. Get up. There we go. I'm trying to film and fish, man. Making my life hard. This is a... We got two species of catfish today. We got a two hard heads in the bucket and now this is gonna be our second i think these are called uh gaff top something like that they got the big old big old top fin it kind of looks like a flag i guess another reason a lot of people don't like eating saltwater cats is because they are a super slimy fish they're super slimy they're absolutely disgusting to handle but once you get past that there's nothing wrong with the meat the meat ain't contaminated you can eat the meat it's perfectly fine it's just like with barracuda. A lot of people don't like eating barracuda because they give off this nasty stench, but there ain't nothing wrong with the meat. So once you get past all that, you're all good. So stop being a baby and try saltwater catfish. 
Got a decent haul on the day, not bad at all. We got four decent sized ones, well, three decent sized ones. I didn't want to take this guy, he's just a little guy, but he was dumb and ended up swallowing the hook, so now he's, uh, now he's up on this table. But anyway, I'm gonna get these guys cleaned. Now when I clean them, I'm only gonna get the side fillets, like right here. Catfish do have um, a decent chunk of belly meat, but for that, you gotta go in, you gotta like go into their guts, remove all the guts and stuff, and I honestly don't feel like doing that. Catfish are one of my least favorite fish to clean because they are full of poop, and I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Got the fish all cleaned.